Um, Tim, this is not your first time at BNN. This is my second. And this is actually the second time I'm seeing you. We met once when I was interning here and I was um, working on camera for Sharon's show. So thank you for being here again. And Sharon's our director. She does have her own show um, on another level. On another level. Yes. So thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys having me. Got to show off the artwork again. Did with some cool people. Absolutely. All right, what do you like more, painting or making clothes? That's a tough question. <laughs> it's a tough question. I would say painting is more, it's more f just straight me to the, to the canvas. Clothing, I got to think about what the consumer wants mm. more. So. so first of all, what inspired you? Because you didn't always paint first, you drew first, right? Right, right. So what made you decide that you wanted to start painting? Just growing up and seeing like seeing different how people step into different lanes, I guess, and thinking my art was always important to mm -hmm. me. I wanted to see what I could do to take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. So I challenged myself with learning mm -hmm. to paint pretty much and just did it excessively until I felt like I was well, until people started liking it really. So is it something that goes hand in hand? Like, do you draw so you automatically know how to paint? Or is it something you have to train yourself to do? That's, that was tough. Yeah. I thought because I knew how to draw, I was going to be a great painter just by default. But it definitely took some learning of techniques and pra a lot of practice. You had to really learn it again, just mm -hmm. like learning how to draw. Because the paint is it's like a different medium. And once you learn how to use it how you want to, make it do what you want it to do, then you could kind of recreate the same style mm -hmm. you have in your drawings. But it was a good process. I embraced it. Yeah. Can I ask? Sure. What, what is that? Well, describe the painting and then tell me okay. the symbols. Definitely. That's... Because I'm getting a meditating, yeah. or a karma, you know, a good aura. Well, it's this. definitely me. It's me meditating. Uh. And the script is like this hieroglyphic I made up pretty uh, much because okay. I feel like language is real important. And we have a lot of, I guess, you, we got a lot of different things attached to words. So I wanted to make a whole new language that I could attach anything to it and it have a special meaning to me. But what that says basically is what I think shall manifest now. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. That's dope. That is cool. Laws of manifestation. Yeah. What's going on here with the guy in the hat and the hand coming down? It's like God's sending down. Well, yeah, that, that was like, because um, I'm definitely in the books reading. Mm. And in the Bible, there's a verse about how Jesus like heals a blind man, rubs dirt on his hands and touches his eyes and he could see after that. Mm. Oh, yeah. But I wanted to update it. So, you know, I put the dude the with the snap back. The snap back. <laughs> <laughs> and it had, it had just a presence touching him. And the colors pretty much represent like a different state of mind and mm -hmm. changing from, you know, thinking one way to another. So generally, how long does it take you to do something like this? Does it, do you just sit down and do it or do you spend time working on it? It's different. Some, some okay. paintings I could just sit down and in two hours I'm done with them. And then there's other ones I might, it might take me a couple weeks or months because I let it sit and keep coming back to it, adding different things. Mm -hmm. But for the main, I, I think I'm a quick painter, really, yeah. more than most people. Um, are you still drawing or is it only Definitely. painting? Definitely. Yeah. I've been getting better at drawing. Which one do you drawing. prefer? <laughs> painting because the, it's just you can do so much more with the paint. Like mm. you start treating it kind of more than liquid, like uh, almost like skin. Like you feel like I start feeling extra creative when I'm painting. Yeah. But with drawing, I'll say it's, it's just good to see how better I'm getting. Mm. <laughs> Any inspirations? Um, I don't know a lot of painters or, or visual artists. So like I always inquire, like, was there a motivation right. behind that or somebody inspired you? Did your mother take you to like painting classes or something? 
Well, actually, I just started. I always had a creative streak. I don't know why. When I was like 10 years old, that's when I sold my first piece of art. And it was some Q-tips. I made people out of Q-tips. <laughs> and it was some colorful trees. I don't even know where they came from, but I just used it called this strange fruit it was always mm. deep though at 10 years old i'm like that's where my mind was so. i'll see it i see you laughing at that <laughs> can you paint brother so i have a question you said you started painting when you were 10 or drawing when you were 10. Drawing. what well, younger than that but just so what did you do did you just sit down at lunchtime and say let me see if i can draw something or how my, did it happen? Like my earliest memories of drawing is really sitting on my uncle's floor with mm. like my brother and my cousins and we just trying to draw cartoon characters okay. and whatnot. I think that's really what what fueled me. I mean, that's what made me feel like, oh, this is what I like to do the most. I was the calmest and at peace when I was drawing. And mm -hmm. I hear that stuff. a lot. I hear that a lot about that. Um, you're calm when you're drawing. Oh, I mean, I'm. I that's why I don't paint. I'm not a calm person. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe you should start. <laughs> Logan is always trying to give me paint. Yeah, shout maybe. out to Logan. Shout out to Beyond Magic. Maybe you can like give us a class or something. I've seen people yeah, doing that a lot she, lately. She, don't talk for me. I I could talk. You could take a painting class. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I would like to. I see people <laughs> on Instagram now. Like they're they'll take a picture and have mm. like a party, and everyone just sits around and tries to create right, what they right. see. They, that doesn't sound like fun. You don't want to do that. I'm just saying I don't have that attention span to sit down and. Just, this is hard enough for me, but I like it because <laughs> I get to talk to y'all. Well, maybe we should work on that. Elsie, what about you? Hey, I'm down. Are you, Elsie, you can pay. All right, Elsie do is down to pay. So are you going to host the class for us? I'll host the class. <laughs> All right. So I want to talk about um, Touch the Sky clothing. You're the CEO, right? Definitely. Is that what you're wearing now? This is, yeah, this is one of our new designs. Why you say it like it's light work? Like, you know, yeah, this is, this is, this is I, I feel like I've been doing it for mm -hmm. long. But show people, show. It's always good getting it out there more. Set trends don't set, set trends don't sweat trends. Mm. Okay. And this, that was, yeah. yeah what on. is, when did you start it? In 2007. Okay. When I, it was my junior year in high school, actually. And you do all the designs yourself? Yeah, do all the designs and even most of the manufacturing from mm -hmm. printing and all of that. So if, if Loud Mind is some shirt, we should all let you? Y'all can <laughs> definitely. And I forgot to mention that I know your brother because we work together. And yeah. then when he asked me, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm over at BNN. We're doing TV shows, mm -hmm. whatever. He's like, oh, my brother had a show, was on a show there. So we put it together. Yeah. Um, and I asked him once, I'm like, oh, can your brother make a shirt for me? He's like, yeah, it's not that simple. <laughs> like, there's a lot more that goes into it. Can you actually explain that? That people think definitely. it's that simple it, that they can just tap you? And... It's, it's crazy. They don't, I'm, I get so many people like, <laughs> oh, can you throw me a shirt? <laughs> throw me a shirt. I'm like, that's gonna cost me to get you <laughs> yeah. a shirt. Like, I mean, it's a it's a fun process, but when you're on the other side, before you know everything that goes yeah. into it, you're just thinking, I go in the store and buy the shirt, right. and it's made already. Yeah. But you don't really understand. Somebody had to take their time setting up the shirt making a screen with the design and mm. designing the design, then actually printing and setting up the print so it doesn't wash out <clears throat> after you wash it once. It's, it's a lot that goes into it. And you have the equipment at home yeah. or in your office, wherever yeah. you work when from. I, I started in my mother's basement. That's how okay. I normally start. Right. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. That's where all great things start, yeah. in your mom's basement. And I was able to move on to bigger places. The name. Well, yeah. How did you come up with the right. name? Touch the sky. It was, it was crazy how I came <laughs> up with the name. I was actually going, just listening to my with me and um, my girlfriend. We started mm. the business together in high oh, school. Okay. So I was just listing out a bunch of names, and I'm like, "What about TTS?" It's like, "What that stand for?" I'm like, "Touch the sky." And, and like Kanye was the most popping rapper at mm. the time. Mm -hmm. He had that song "Touch the Sky." And oh, touch the sky! I'm like, like an extra flat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Um, on the website, you said that it's an alternative to ignorant fashion. Definitely. What does that mean? And like, I feel like as an artist and just anyone that's making anything for other people to see, you gotta, you kind of got a responsibility to them to not just 
give them something. You got to yeah. teach them. That's how I feel. And mm. with all my designs, I try to have, uh, it has a different, it could have two meanings or three meanings to mm. it. Like, it's not just, this is cool. You looking at the Jesus piece, the Rolex, and you're thinking, okay, that's fashion today. But it's also about just making your own way, trying to blaze your own trail in life. Trailblazing. And, right, and not following just because usually when you see a bunch of people running one way, you should go the other way. Yeah. So that's that's what I learned. And that's really what this design is about. But every design has a deeper meaning to mm. it. See, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's on it, man. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I love it. I love it. Um, <clears throat> so you're an artist overall, though, essentially. Mm. Yeah. And it just so happens that you're able to just spill into different art forms, if you will, exactly. other genres. Exactly. I just wanted to embrace that. So it's not just a uh, clothing line and it's not just a, the pen to the canvas. Right, right. And I, I, pretty much you guys know me for a clothing line because that was the easiest way that I could get my art in front of people mm -hmm. and oh, on a lot of point. people. So. so what do you want to be known for? Is it the clothes or for your, just your art in general? I want to be known for the messages behind the art, what it what it stood for. Mm -hmm. I don't really want people to be like, oh, that, that dude, he owns a clothing line or he paints. <laughs> I want them to be like, he really stood for something. Yeah. And he's trying to do more for everyone around Send him. Send messages you know? through your exactly. art. Exactly. That's what's up. Do you feel that way more so as an artist or as a black man? I'm a black man. Before <laughs> <I was. laughs> when it Definitely. comes down to it, I, I'm a I black man. Like, I like you, Valerie. Yeah. Look, 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 brother, I'm a black man. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I just try to carry a certain energy with mm -hmm. me. Anytime mm. I'm anywhere, I want people to be like, there's something different about him. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely. I had to ask, though, because I feel sometimes people will throw you in these categories, right. in these boxes, just by them looking at you. Mm -hmm. and just, Oh, I know you already, or I can assume yeah, what like, you're about to sell me, you know. It's, it's a lot to the story that they yeah. don't really know. But. Yeah. The last time you were here, you were doing a show, right? Perspicacity. Okay, yeah. tell us about it. It definitely went well. That was the end of 2012, but it was um just an art show. It was actually my first art show where it would be just me presenting. It was all the work I had done up to that point. Mm -hmm and just showing off the clothing line. But it was a good show, a good turn up. Yeah. Looking for a bigger money. and better one. Yeah, a little <laughs> money, but it was more about being able to like, dang, I finally got all this work out in mm. front of people and seeing how they react to the different stuff. Is, yeah. That's that's the most rewarding part, really. Absolutely. Well, um, you know I'm going to throw him in the hot box. All right, cool. <laughs> Did so, you throw Max in the hot box? No, I didn't want to throw Max in the hot box. Why? Because he's not 13 or something? He was just amazing. Okay, I didn't want to put him in the hot box. Max, you're lucky. You got out the hot box. <laughs> so, okay, Tim, this is the first question. Do we need to explain him what the hot box is or should I just throw him in there? Just do it for the camera. Are you still going to paint that portrait of me that we've been talking about? Yep, soon as you, soon as okay, you set up Okay, do you want to photograph time. me or do you, would you prefer that I model? <laughs> I'm <Dang>. sorry. <laughs> I couldn't hold it He's in. He's in the hot box. I know, that's why I had to like, I was like, yo, that's hot over there. I'm not there. throwing no smoke. No, I'm not, I feel you. Know, I know you got a girlfriend. I'm just saying, I can give you the picture now. Okay. Or we can model. I'm just, work. I just got to make sure I get my portrait, okay? Well, does, does this happen to you all the time? It happens. <laughs> it happens a lot. Just not on TV, you see, though. I'm at a loss for words. Good. That's what we like when you're in the hot box. Who's your favorite clothing designer? I don't have one. That's honest. You could say me. Uh, like yourself. It you, is. You make clothes? No, I meant he could say me, me. Like me. Oh. Him, Tim, I was like, let me know. <laughs> so when it comes to paintings, is there one artist that you go to for inspiration? Picasso, oh. if not Picasso, Basquiat. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Well, thank you for being here. Before you go, let the people know where they can find you. Um, on my social media, Instagram, um, Twitter is all TTS Clothing Co. Um, Facebook, TTS Clothing Co. Or you can search Touch the Sky, www.touchtheskyclothingcompany.com. And that's about it. Respect. Thank you. Thank man. you for having me. Let's have you on here. Appreciate you. And I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you. Take us away, homie. Yeah.
And who we bumping? Who we listening to? Playing some Prano right now. Some Prano. Shout out to Built by Money Click. You already know, man. Yo, shout, here. shout out to Prano. I seen him at Bijou. Yes, yes, man. yes, yes. Oh, we got him in. Right I'm always a BG. More projects like coming real soon, baby. man. I'm doing art. Painting out a picture, I do this shit from the heart. These boys be throwing shots, but they can't shoot from the art. Got me no one. I've been feeling like y'all been hating. To me, I'm just the best. I'm confused with all the JLC. Action nerves out like the eyes on the cars. Play your role, cause everybody ain't fit to be a boss. No city lights. I can see them breaking.